tonight we're featuring Rotolite. Fifteen jokes. Folding a dollar. One minute of chess. Those new coins I was talking about last week. And raise your glass, because it's time for class. Every time I'm not drinking, I think of all the reasons why I need to lean on the wine. But if I could just remember to forget I ever met her, I wouldn't have so many reasons why. Take me down to the bottom Take me down all the way I'll find the bottom of the bottle Every day It's a long way from the top When I start I never stop Take me down to the bottom You know I'm on my way Deep inside my glass There's no future Serenity is all I'll find Yesterday and tomorrow Are only filled with sorrow So today I'll try losing my mind Take me down to the bottom I'm the bottom of the bottle every day It's a long way from the top When I start I never stop Take me down to the bottom You know I'm on What did Mrs. Eisenhower say when she saw a robotic vacuum? Ike, a Roomba. Let's start the show. Notice the line in the middle. We're gonna actually get to the saw in a little bit, and we will <laughs> we will address that line on um, on the saw portion of the program. So, what we're trying to do is get to the portion of the portion program, Por portion portion of the program. Welcome. Cheers. I cut myself shaving. We're gonna do one of those paper towel things. Still didn't work. That's the consequence of shaving right before the show. Cheers. Mmm. We'll just wash this down past it and clean it out on the inside. That's how that works. How's it going? I have a short Malicticite, mal malacute video. Oh, okay. 
It's a malachite video, but it's a short malachite video, which makes it a malacute video. <laughs> well, that's good. Oh, and now you can drop the link, lizard. Cheers to you, man, for being cool and all that. And coming by the program, and Jerry stopped by, and Colette made it. And Ron Weasley's here. Well, he's here, but he can't really hear because he's growing mushrooms in his ears. Ron, that would make me a little uneasy, too. I think what you should probably do is uh, saute them in a little bit of uh, flambés. I don't really know what that is, but we're going to pretend like it's a thing. This is a garnet, folks. This is a rhodolite. It's a rare combination of pyrope and almondine. I have people say, is garnet kind of soft? And they say, garnet, that's soft, right? Garnet, are those hard or soft? Garnets are softer stones, right? No. 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 Sort of. But no. Nope. Mm -mm, no. I'll tell you what, that stone that you see me carving, I got two pieces about that size for 325 and maybe 350 depending on the shipping and the amount of pieces I got with it. And the other piece isn't that great, but this piece is. So we wound up cutting it and it turned out into a gem that we're going to send to Colette. And here it is, the piece that we shaped. Look at how clean that is. It's so clean. I mean, look at how big it is for how clean it is, for how garnety it is, and it's not all dark. Like, it's got it's got clarity. It's got flair. It's a thin little chip, but that would just make a fantastic ring. Hold on, I'm going to show you what it would look like, and we'll, we'll actually look at this under the microscope in a little bit. But if I put it on a ring, look at what that does to it when it's backed. It really makes it pop out. Oh, I was looking at auto-focusing webcams, too. They've come down in price. They're not like $300 anymore, which makes more sense. Because, I mean, I can get a cell phone with two cameras in it. Look at this. Look at this. Now, I price jumped, okay? Bing! This thing, and I, I mean, I, you know, I still got my phone that I use. This one, same size, more powerful. And it's got the phone in there and all that. And 1998 and it's not and there's no contract so I bought a battery a screen Wi-Fi does surf the internet downloads apps has the calendar and calculator and all that schmancy stuff two cameras under 20 bucks how is an auto focusing webcam gonna be at least sixty dollars that doesn't make any sense and I refuse to let anyone change my mind hey Koga Ninja Crew, he knows we're trendy. We're trendy. Hey Koga, you'll get a kick out of this. I made a couple of mods to the chat bot. Watch this. And um, something else. And a third thing. Tomato. There was another thing I made. I did to the. Yeah, you have thrown a tomato, so you can throw a tomato if you want, especially during the joke portion of the program. That's just great. So is this Rotolite. You know what? Actually, it's kind of cool that we're seeing Koga because I was going to ask you guys, what should I cut next week? Should I cut some lemon citrine or some sunstone? Not sure. Not sure. Are you throwing it? Oh, that's what I got to do, Koga, is get it to where you guys can throw tomatoes at each other and stuff. Oh, that would be fantastic. That would be so cool. Uh, is that it? No, that's not it for the video. That's just it for the me working the video. And we actually did cut this garnet piece in half and pulled something off the bottom of it. Hiya, Crystal Shaman. How's it going? We're talking about throwing tomatoes at me during the joke portion of the program, which we need to get to the microscope portion so we can get to the joke portion. And pretty soon we're going to get to the saw portion. And on the microscope portion, I'm actually going to show you those new coins I was talking about. 
Hey, Christopher Phenomenon, let's start the show. When the best buy near gets me gets a new shipment, I'm going to get the Galaxy S20. Oh yeah, yeah, I was wondering. I Well, I snagged it on uh, Amazon Prime Lizard. I snagged that Moto E6 on Amazon Prime. Uh, it's like $38 now, but uh, I like Amazon because they have supported me as a small business by giving me shelf space like they gave me catalog space and they actually gave me shelf space which I'm thinking I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pack up what bottles I have which is like eight of them uh, that are you know like still brand new and sitting there I haven't like been touching them or showing them off on the camera because I got that one and then I got like two more that I've been moving around for camera shots and stuff so I can have three didn't need all those details, but I gave them to you anyway. I like to give you more than your money's worth. I like to give you more than you bargained for. I like to give you plenty. That's what I do. I, you know, it's it's a it's generosity. I like abundance. Abundance is the solution. Tomatoes, yes. Now you can throw tomatoes, and I'm trying to figure out how I can get it to do the emoji too. There's probably like I can enter the code or something like that, and it'll do the it'll do the it'll do uh you know the tomato code. But I'm not sure exactly what 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 I need to do to get that to happen. Deb. Okay, I hope I didn't miss any great comments. If you have any great questions other than Malactikite, Malak Malakute video, it's a Malakute video. Okay, we will show that. Garnet is your birthstone, Jerry. Oh, okay. Well, there's a lot of garnets. There's a lot of different garnets, and basically, it's like. It's it has the same basic crystal structure, and then there's different components in it, or it's slightly turned a little bit, and that's what makes it a different color and a different type of garnet. But they're all pretty much still the same. They have like an aluminum, and a chromium, and a silicate, and yeah, they're they're actually garnets are pretty complex. Whereas like a quartz is pretty much just silicon and two oxygens arranged in a in a uh, uh, I don't even remember the pattern. You can do it. I just have to remember how. It's oh, it's tomato x. It's um. Let's see if it works, Koga. I'm gonna try that out right now. And then we're gonna get to the microscope portion. But we have to get to the saw portion. Oh, there we go. Let's see. Um. Okay. What we're gonna do is come to commands and go to tomato. I also have one that calls up a Discord invite that you can use up to 100 times. Mm -hmm. And the Trendy Club. Because we are trendy, right, Koga? We are ahead of the curve. We are the hottest thing this side of the future. Head. Shablizzlam. Let's see if it works. Submit. Yeah, there we go. Find citrine since I moved. Oh, that's yeah. You gotta pack it away someplace safe. That's what I need to do. I think um, next week we're gonna cut some of that lemon. That would be cool. I don't know if I can actually cut something big enough or or some something cool enough out of those small pieces. So I'll have to cut something out of these big pieces. We'll look at them on the microscope portion, which we're going to get to right now. Oh man, I was like, we're going to fold a dollar on the program today. I'm going to teach you how to fold a dollar. I thought that was kind of interesting. So I figured it would give us extra content and then there it was on the list and I was like, well, I'm going to have to grab a dollar figure out how to do that hottest thing this side of Barbary Maine oh dude you know it <clears throat> both my tents with AC and oh man infinity fans now you got it you got it hooked up hey honest how's it going see I see okay let's see we've got th this is basically just me getting it ready for the saw now, did, oh, did the tomato thing work? I forgot to try that. Let's see if it works. Bam. And then, like, I think I did this. Something like that. Okay. Let's fire up the microscope. Also, 
I, I, I really do want to shape that, that sunstone, but I think we should stick with some lemon citrine next week, right? That'd be beautiful. Too funny, I'm getting out my origami station. Oh, honest, dude, I, t I had a klutz book. Are, how many of you are familiar with klutz? And it... Uh, yeah, it didn't put a tomato. Okay, Koga, how, how do I uh, change that? Do I take the spaces out? That's what I do, right? I was supposed to take the spaces out. That makes more sense. Talk about thinking on the fly. And back. Space. Delete, delete, delete. Delete, 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 delete. Delete, delete, delete. Delete, 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 delete. Delete, 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 delete. Okay, I'm going to stop. But at least we can go to the desktop. We'll go to... Joke intro. That's got the camera. Yellow citrine. It still didn't work. Man, we gotta figure out that code. We gotta figure out that code. I keep throwing tomatoes. But oh, you know what I need to do is have like it's it needs to be like dollar sign username, and then it could be you have thrown a tomato at. But then you'd be throwing tomatoes at each other. Or you could add a... Or... Colon. Or. Full colon? Full on colon. Right. We want to put a full on colon in the chats. Anybody who's looking at the audio portion with their ears... With their ear viewers... Is probably like... That makes too little sense. Let's go to this microscope portion so you can see the gem under the scope of cam. Nope, I clicked on the wrong thing. There we go. Did I drop it? I would. Alright, so this is the gem under the scope of cam with a plastic top on it. Let's get that off of there, shall we? Bing! I need to get a better polish down, right? That's kind of my fingerprint on there. You can see my fingerprint oil. Let's see if I can wipe that with my finger. Not really. Actually, I don't think it's my finger oil so much as it's the oil from the, the, the diamond polish. Yeah, there you go. It just needs a good... It, it needs to be put in a sonic cleaner, but actually it needs a final polish anyway. That's just a 2000 grit cerium oxide polish. And then I, I, you know, I left it about as thick as I could because there's really not on, enough for me to get a good backside girdle on it. But I did get some polish. It still has scratches in it just because my final polish lap does that. Oh, it just drives me nuts. I need to get a final polish lap. I actually need to cut a little deeper to get rid of some of that stuff. But then the file, final polish lap puts the bigger scratches in there. Not the deeper ones, but yeah, the more numerous ones. That's why I finished the face with that cerium oxide. Gotta get something nice, but I really like how it turned out with the points on the end. I got those end facets going on. It should make a nifty little ring piece. And I don't want to put it on like a, a flat thing like this, but the you know the the silver really comes through so it would be kind of neat if it was on like a cup piece and then it had some prongs holding it there you know that would really make a nice ring I don't know I'm gonna send it to Colette as a rough gem and then she can figure out that part I think that'll be pretty cool let me see if I can show you what it looks like yeah blam total gem not coming through. Got to get the autofocus cam. So the new coins on the microscope, I was like, I'm going to show some new coins. And then I completely forgot that I had new coins. So I got these new coins. They're not new from the mint, but they were uh, slightly circulated. That sounds gross. So I thought I would take a look at them. 2020 coins. Land stewardship. 
Marsh, Billings, Rockefeller money. Whose names are those? Vermont. I wonder why those names are on there. Land stewardship. United States of America. And then it's got the D because it was made in Delaware even though it says Vermont. It's pretty shiny, you know. It's got that little rough finish. I think they vibrate finish these so that they don't have burrs. And uh, we need to get to the saw portion of the program. Let's click on the saw. You can see what I saw when I saw this garnet. I think we're going to saw the lemon citrine and the garnet, right? That's not good show. That's not good show. There's the garnet. Oh man, that is really, really bright. That's about the best that footage gets. To. Did that make sense? We're going to pretend like it did. I'm going to show you this uh, bicentennial coin, which is from 1976. So how many years is that? 54 years. So this is a 54-year-old coin. And it's actually in pretty good shape. It hasn't been abused. A lot of the bicentennials aren't aren't really that rough but it's got some you know nicks and dings and pinches and those little L's and I's on the Liberty are worn the stars are still there the drumsticks are still there the drums worn down though notice the edge the front edge of that drum is is kinda worn I like these older coins because they're so deep they, they strike them really deep and the new coins aren't as they're they're really shallow it uh, it saves on energy striking them shallow like that they don't have to expend as much force to to mint the coin that way they're definitely not as deep so new coins on the microscope cam let's get to the joke portion right and then we can play some chess and uh, that's pretty much all I have for for you this week but I actually have to check my list and see what we have for the show Rotolite, Jokes, Dollar, A Minute of Chess and those new coins I was talking about so I did the new coins Rotolite, check, we went live, got it we gotta do a dollar folding thinger how am I going to do that? I think I'm going to turn the camera so that it shows a little different. Right? That'll help. That's what I need to do with this rotolite. I figured if I came at it from this angle, you'd see what I see. But that doesn't work. I turn my head to the side when I cut. I look at it from over here. So that's what that's the angle I have to give you. Plus with that light, the light was working great for me but not for you so I think I actually need to move the light up so it's more ambient like that but see how it's kinda it's kinda dark I need it just better ambiently lit plus I'm splattering the camera that's totally a thing but that's all we have for that until we feature the lemon citrine part we split that in two we're going to split the show in two and we're going to split your sides into because it's time for the joke portion of the program I got a couple of shout out jokes this week uh, let's see one of them comes from Crystal Shaman we got a joke that she left on our comments and it's hilarious I'm gonna put it right next to the ghost joke okay so what does a ghost use or what kind of key yeah I messed it up we're gonna try again what kind of key does a ghost use a spooky just makes way too much sense I'm gonna turn off the camera cuz that makes sense too <laughs> how do ghosts find their information they just ghoul it they search ghoul Yep. 
And where did they store their data on their Google Drive? That was the original joke, and then I was like, you know, it's a little funnier if we go for, you know, just Google it. Cheers to that. Okay. <clears throat> now, another one is from my Aunt Joanne, who's great. She's my great Aunt Joanne, because she's my grandma's sister. And she she told me a great joke, and she told me something that was really funny. So, first, I'm going to tell you who this is, and then I'm going to tell you the joke. So, my great Aunt Joanne says to me, I used to raise lassie-looking collies. We had one named Gomer Pyle, because when he was a puppy, all he did all the time was go more pile. And when he was housebroken, we changed his name to go more great dog. That's my great aunt Johan. And she sent us a joke. And I kind of changed it a little bit so it's a little bit shorter. There's an outlaw walked into the bar with a hat made out of a paper towel. And the bartender says, I see you have a bounty on your head. It's a great joke. Classic. Okay, so I have to keep track of these so I don't double tell them, because I'll do that. What did Mrs. Eisenhower say when she saw a robotic vacuum? Ike, a Roomba. I don't think I said that wrong. She said, Ike, a Roomba. It's all about the spacing. <clears throat> all about the spacing with that joke. That's why we're moving on. Why do they call it ammo? Because you always need mo, ammo, ammo, ammo. Shout out to my gamers. What should you use to read a dusty Torah? Synagogues. How, how, yeah, how can you read your Torah underwater? With a pair of synagogues. And I just lost the joke portion by trying to change where the joke portion was. Good job, Jake. In the middle of the show. How can you tell He-Man is kosher? He starts his day with Hebrew. Is that a he-he joke? If someone says they're full of food, does that mean that shortly they'll be full of crap? Where do... Okay, yeah, where do ghosts... I already told that one. Told you I'd tell it twice. Okay, um, here's some Star Trek jokes. There's a few of them. We're going to get them out of the way. There's a movement to make Star Trek MASH crossover. So far, they have Klinger on. Embracing the winds of change, Captain Kirk will now be flying the Starship Jefferson. Why did they make Star Trek Picard? Because they wanted to make money off the next generation. What do you call the first episode of Star Trek? Star Trek. And the last one, I promise, of the Star Trek jokes. Only halfway done with the joke portion, sort of. Where does Commander Spock keep his money? In his back pocket. A couple more. A couple more jokes and then we're done. Why did the fisherman win the heavyweight title? He was a real fighter. Uh, it doesn't make sense. What do you call a knight who shows off in public? An armor hot dog. And this, I, I'm pretty sure this is the last one. Yeah, this one, this one's got got to be the last one. Oh, I've got two bits. Okay, what did the pirate soldier say? I'm reporting for booty. Arr, I'm reporting for booty. That, it's better if I... Oh, okay. What did the pirate soldier say? Arr, I'm reporting for booty. Okay, so salt, right? Like, bags of driveway ice-melting salt are really expensive. And I was like, salt doesn't go bad, so why wouldn't you just buy a giant scoop of it? And then there you go. You put it in the corner of your house. That's my salt for my life. Me and my salt. We live well together. But then I started thinking, why would you want to melt the salt? It's fun. You go, wee and then make a TikTok video. 
It's great. That's why, I mean, why would you want to melt it to begin with? Um, what was the last bit that I had? Oh, there was some, uh, there was some really funny lines that the two non-doctors were reading about, um, dating terms. And so I was like, well, let's see if I can forward that because these are different dating terms and so I, I wrote up some dating terms to kind of go along with all of the the different dating terms like when you've been ghosted I don't really know what all that means but uh, I think it's when somebody just disappears like like uh, the fadeaway that's what it is I heard it called the fadeaway but anyway um so there's different, you know, it's just vernacular. It's all in fun, and, and it's it's all just to make make people feel better. And so, um, sometimes you can be medusa when you get up the nerve to talk to someone, but you freeze as soon as you go over to them. You can be Tarzan when you start living together and find out they're more of an animal than you were led to believe, or you can be Trojan when someone you've been dating a while reveals they have four, four plus kids. Yeah, good old dating. I don't know if I'm really the expert, but I was like, let's uh, write some dating-related rela terms. And then I was like, <clears throat> well, that's pretty sad. Kind of like the joke portion of the program. You guys are fantastic for sticking around for that. Because that is the... Oh, no, where'd the, je where'd the joke? Oh, it's up there. Okay. I can't... The screen's too big. I can't. I'm looking over here. I'm looking up here. I'm looking right here because this is the joke of the portion of the program. And we have to play a game of chess. But first. Um, <laughs> we're going to go to the Ruby portion. So I can show you how to do the dollar. That sounds weird. But anyway. Uh, let's see. What should we make with the dollar? I'm going to show you how to make a ring with the dollar. Let's see if I can do that. Um, okay. So, what I, what I need to do before I start this is get the footage of the rotolite faceting happening. Because after I put it on the saw, I put it on the dot. And now it's on the top, and there's the bottom side. That's the part that we saw me saw. You know, the saw marks? I thought it was going to click in half a lot earlier. But that's about what we ended up with. So this is how you fold a dollar ring, and this is how you do it quickly. You fold the bottom up, up along this line. That'll catch the edge of the paper and it sets the thickness of the of the ring and if you flip the ring around there's different ways to do it to get the one to show up on the front or the back and then you tuck this part down into there time me see how quickly we can do this see if I can fold a dollar faster than I can play a game of chess and then we fold it one more time and you've got your basic ring. Now, one thing you're gonna do to end it out is you're gonna fold this tab over and this one will be on the actual ring. So you got you start with folding the tab, so you want it a pretty sharp, and I'm not taking the time to, to get it real sharp. You know, there's different amounts of taking the time. But anyway, that's gonna fold across the top and be about the length of this. So the first thing I do just to kind of average the length is I, I fold this up. Fold this part up like that and flip it over. Then I just kind of go out towards the middle and bend it. Just kind of bend from the middle and it gets kind of loopy out here. I want to be able to work that because right now I'm trying to line this up so that when I flip this over here, I'll have a 
flap to go over it. So I want to line that up about like so. Flip this little flip up here. And then this guy goes over the top, the little one. Fold it over the top and you tuck the tab under this thing. So you tuck the tab under there. And then you open this part, because that's your ringy part. And then you fold this down to hold it in place. Zoop! And then, you can be so rich that you wear in money. Son, blam, you got the dollar ring. Psh, psh. Okay, so anyway, <clears throat> that's how you fold a dollar into a ring on a live stream about gemstones and other things where we're going to play a game of chess. So let's see if I can fix my camera. Yeah, there we go. All right, cheers to all of you. Let's catch up on the chat, shall we? So we can get to the gem portion of the program. Oh man, you guys are great. I can't believe you stuck around for the joke portion. I can't, I'm getting a little better. I'm getting a little better, right, right? I'm getting a little bit better. You guys are fantastic. And you threw some tomatoes at me during the program. That's freaking awesome. I gotta get that actual like key thing to work so that it can it can show the tomato and I can see how many tomatoes I got during the joke portion. So um, let's see. I hope I didn't miss any questions because I'm trying to speed read all of your great comments. Armor hot dogs. They're the knights that dance around in the streets. That looks more like a ladybug than it does a tomato. Um, let's see. We got to the jokes. We got to the dollar. We got to the chess. We're going to play the minute of chess. I'm going to pull that up. Chess.com. Ha ha. Full analysis. No, I do not want free things. Can't believe they want, think I want free things. How do they think I want free things? Why 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 would I want free things? Free online analysis. Okay. Chrome chess. Done. Can can you see it? Okay. Let's make sure that we can see it. Play a game. Play online versus a person of similar skill. I don't think they're going to find that. Okay, one minute bullet chess. Um, okay, you can see it, right? Okay. Play. One minute game. Uh-oh. Uh, that guy. Mm, that guy. That guy. Uh, oh. Well, I lost that game. I should have been ready for that. How did I miss that one? Well, let's play a game. Okay. There we go. Oh, I'm supposed to uh, start. Okay. doing um 
we're gonna move here for some reason. And here. And here. And here. And uh, I don't know. Um, here. And the there. Yeah, that was a massive train wreck all program long. That is not how to play chess properly. That's how to um, not know what I'm doing and make lots of mistakes during the uh, chess portion. Okay, so I'm going to try and get better at chess, and I'm also going to wish you very well on your stream. <laughs> Maybe next week we'll have a better idea. I actually, I should probably play some more games of chess. That was, um, man, that was terrible. I really wasn't ready to play chess at all right now. Plus, we at least got the show done. So I'm, I'm so glad that we were able to get started on time. I'm so glad that I was able to chat with y'all. I hope I didn't miss any questions because I, I, I love to answer questions. If you have questions, you know how I love it. Oh, when am I going to play... Jerry Acklin again. Crystal, I'm never going to play Jerry again because if I play him again, then I might lose and I'll, I'll lose all my hot air. Actually, I don't know. I would like to play uh, Jerry again because that was a lot of fun and uh, that was that that was that was a great way to ring in the new year was to, to play a good game of chess with a, a, a refined gentleman such as Jerry. Um, you know, we're, we're going to have to play again, Jerry, just so I can get practiced up. And I need to play more online chess, right? Malachite video. Okay, let's get this Malachite video for Lizard King because he put up a Malak a cute little Malachite video. Okay, JD. All right. Cheers, Koga. Good seeing you, man. I'll see you next time. Rookie nine. Totally gonna have to go with that one next time. All right. So where's the Malachite video? I'm gonna go up here and grab this video, and then I'll see if I can line it up so I can show you this. Okay, this one, and we go. Okay, so that that's working, great. All right. Now this one, something went wrong. Nope, that's not working. It says something about YouTube Studio. Let's see if I can pull it up this way. Uh -huh. In YouTube channel. Okay. Kittens. Concentrate. On the fireside. Okay, there's there's the one we showed last week. Um uh, not seeing the new one. Um Oh lizard lizard, you're at four ninety eight, man. You just need to get a couple more subscribers to get you up to 500. Let's see if anybody is interested. They can click your link there and get you on up to 500. I'll try and do the fast chess next week. Oh, Jerry, we need to. That's what we need to do, Jerry. We need to play like 10 games of one-minute chess. That'd be fantastic. Okay, but I am going to wish you all a great week. We're gonna show Lizard's video next week. We're gonna actually we should we should shape some malachite. That's what we need to do. But we're gonna do that all next week and every week at 9 p.m. Eastern. Have a good night, y'all. <laughs>